Hello everyone! Welcome to Portal 2. It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been fine ever since you killed me. I mean, ever since I uploaded last. This is not going to be less of an LP and more of a walkthrough. I'll be doing this 100% through with all of the single player achievements, show you where to find them all, and yeah, this game has a lot of loading screens, so be prepared to see this often. I like to watch the little circle up in the corner spinning around. And here we have a picture of her. I remember when we killed her. It only took me about half an hour. From first wake up to rocket launcher in the face and then incineration and then mwahaha. What? I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Oops, I forgot to turn subtitles on because this is an entirely new gamer tag so that I can show you all of the trophies that I already have. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. Oops. Need to change that too. Probably should have made sure this was working. Because I play inverted because I am better than most people. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mental oh, hey, we can physical move. and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Stare at the arm. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. I do feel if mentally you reinvigorated. The art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance. Reflect briefly on this classical music. Oh, I love this song. Ow. Good. Now please return to your bed. I don't want to. I don't look out the window. Why can't I see out the window? I want to look out the window, Mr. Announcer. Fine, I'll go back to sleep. Jerk. Good morning. You have been in suspension for Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Never is anything different about the art. Are you gonna open the door? It's nighttime now. It's also nighttime out there. Hello? The Are you gonna open this door? Because it's fa it's fairly urgent. Okay. Ah! Oh God! You look te um good, looking good actually. Are you okay? For real? Are you? Don't answer that. Oh, I'm subtitles spoil it. You're a wheelie. You to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Who took my lamp shade? How oh, am I gonna have crazy parties now? Can you hear me? Hello? At least close the fridge. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Boing. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All, All right, bit of a explanation. This is going to be less of an LP and more of a walkthrough because I've already finished this game like five times, okay, and no, gonna I'm going to get this done as fast as possible so I can here. show you the proper way through all the chest chambers. 
I may do this later in a slower, like, more funny LP environment, just for giggles. But this is going to be just a fast, hey, this is what you do and this is where you go. No, my desk! No, my fridge! Fridge, don't leave me! Don't leave me in here by myself, fridge! can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, There's no just one can't in there. Get here. Okay, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. My fridge is right? gone. Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. There's a docking station 600 feet below. Good news. Yeah. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt can't a really manual override on this wall. Can't see a docking station wall. down there. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. And we are back inside the facility. Good luck. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. I hope I remember These all of the achievements. will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three... Two, one. Oh, this seems familiar, doesn't it? Anyone who played Portal 1, that is everybody, should recognize this. And, -based testing remains and this. Science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You and down. Science material emancipation drill, which Probably going to be rather quiet during parts of this. Is series because some of this takes concentration and some of it is just obvious open door by place block on button i feel i would be insulting your intelligence if i spelled that out for you if you feel liquid running down your neck relax lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples you are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head I'll try not to speak over any of the amazing dialogue in this game, either. And now press the third button, and we're out. Anyone who played the original okay. Portal will because remember of these the tests. Difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Aperture Laboratories. I wish Aperture actually existed. I want a portal gun in real life. I would make life so much easier. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey, you made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium. Boom! Oh. Fall down this hole. You'll survive because you got springs on your feet. Can you see the portal gun? This is all fairly obvious. Come up here, shoot the portal in the wall, jump through the portal. Do you know what I'm going to 
come up here. I thought there was a door on that wall, but I'm wrong because I'm an idiot. Come through here. You can barely hear Wheatley, but thankfully you can still see his close captioning. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. These first few chambers are very simple. Just to get you back into the groove of, you know, portal-ing. And to teach anyone who hasn't played the first portal how to portal. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. This was actually, according to the developer commentary, the first joke implemented into Portal 2 was that smooth jazz quip. I'll try and mention any interesting portal trivia that popped up in the developer commentary for anyone who doesn't want to sit through all because of it or doesn't have the game. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. There are stairs there, it goes up to a room, there's nothing in the room. I have a feeling, knowing Valve, they're going to add something in that room in a patch sometime in the future, but don't quote me on that, because I may be wrong, and then I'll look like an idiot even more than I already do. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, yes. I haven't done these Chapter 1 puzzles in a while. My last two playthroughs of the game, I've skipped directly to Chapter 2. But, they're not terribly difficult. Thankfully. Press both buttons so that that pops up. Come, the other cube comes through, hits that. If you don't press that second button, it'll fly right through into the goo. You need the second cube because if not, that little ramp won't be there. Drop it on the button, door opens, you can leave. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <coughs> Foreshadowing! <coughs> what? Aperture Laboratories, founded to manufacture shower curtains. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future... God help you. I love that line. I'm going to be saying that a lot in this LP, I think. This game has some absolutely superb writing. In my opinion, it's even better than the first, but I've heard mixed opinions on that. portal down there. This will be expressly familiar to anyone who remembers the first game, yada yada yada. Who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. First, portal on the slanted surface. Jump down to the stationary portal down here to rocket across, and you get your cube. Once you have your cube, you need to find the button. The button is over there, I think? I don't quite remember. Oh no, the button's behind there. So what we need to do is... Rocket ourselves over there again. 
and by again I mean for the first time by shooting onto that vertical wall falling through and landing you see the broken window you can just go around the broken window drop it there that all comes up and the door opens make sure your portals in a decent spot come down jump through again and we're out good work getting this far future starter thank you that's it if you are simple-minded old or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing well screw you mr pre-recorded voice